Okay. This is uh, 5.5, part two. Sorry, there was uh, some problems with the video where I did the work, but it didn't show up on the video. So I'll walk you through the work. We, it's factor by grouping. So we factor out from the first two terms, we factor out the greatest common factor is x squared. You write it down here and you divide it under each term. You reduce it and you get two x. I reduce it, I get one. Here I have to factor out a negative five, not just a positive five. If I just factor out five, I'd end up with negative two x plus one and it wouldn't be the same as that. So I factor out a negative five, pull that out front, put it underneath each one, I get positive, because a negative can have any negative is a positive, and negative one. Then the greatest common factor is 2x minus 1, 2x minus 1, write it out front. And then I'm always left with what's in front, x squared minus 5. And the 2x minus 1s cancel, and the 2x minus 1s cancel. All right, next one. Greatest common factor is 3x squared y, because between 21 and 9 is 3. Between x to the third and x to the second, it's x to the second. Between y squared and y, it's 1. So you write that down front, write it underneath each term, reduce, reduce. So we have 7xy, and x squared and y cancel, and we have just 3. The plus is still right there. You uh, factor out a 2, pull that 2 out front, divide by 2, 7xy, and minus 3. And then you look at 7xy minus 3 and 7xy minus 3, that gets factored out front. We write it underneath, cancel, end up with 3x squared y. Write it underneath, cancel, end up with 2, plus remains right there. And so that is our factored form. Number 6 and number 7 were tricky because we had to actually switch positions with the minus xy and the minus 9y because otherwise there was nothing, you couldn't factor anything out of that or that. So here I can factor the x out now, I get 2 minus y. Here I can factor the 9 out now, I get 2 minus y. 2 minus y twice, comes out once, divided by 2 minus y, cancel, cancel, x plus 9. And number seven, we switch up the two and the minus two y. We factor a y out, we end up with three x minus two. We factor a negative one out. Again, they're relatively prime. Three x and two don't have anything in common, so one is the greatest common factor. But we actually factor out a negative one because we want the three x minus twos to match. If I just factor out one plus one, it would say negative three plus two, and then it wouldn't be the same and I couldn't finish the problem. So I divide out a negative 1. I end up with the 3x minus 2, the 3x minus 2. Factor that out front, and then they cancel off. We're left with y minus 1. So that's all of 5.5. The next video will be 5.6.